All right, well, what's up? It's Andrew Murray here and Marie Torres with a brand new training that we've got for you. Hey, everybody. So, like Andrew said, we've got a brand new training here and we're really excited to be able to deliver it to you. So I think, Andrew, we should probably just jump right in. Yeah, so basically, I mean, the uh, you know core part of what we're going to be talking about is really what you need to succeed. I mean, obviously, every year things start to change. And we're going to tell you what you really need if you want to have your business successful. So this will be applicable to anyone in any business. Okay, looking forward into, you know, uh, 2015, what you need to have set up. So a little bit about who we are. Why don't you, uh, you're better at, at telling that kind of sure. stuff. Okay, so who are we? So for most of you watching this, you probably already know who we are. And for those of you that don't, we'll just give you a brief background. Um, Andrew and I started working online actually when we were in university. It was actually the idea that, um, you know, we wanted to work together and we wanted to make money. And so we definitely worked and looked around and I think, like a lot of you now try to put this puzzle together and so it did take us a while we and we'll go through our story as we go through this webinar but um remember calling leads yes i remember calling leads <laughs> it was a tough tough time um yeah. and then we learned how to build our entire business without any cold calls and having people come to us so who are we basically um, once we figured out this really important concept of marketing and marketing ourselves, we went from, you know, our largest check, which used to be like $386 after 18 months of working to over $250,000 in 15 months. And since then, our income has continuously grown to multiple six figures. We've done seven figures in this industry. And, wow. <laughs> and here are just a few pictures of us. Um, you know, we've won different superstar bonuses in our company here is andrew just recently who was speaking at the no excuses event um, and here are just a few little pictures of andrew and myself with our son jack and really we wanted to live a life of options and by being able to really master the art of marketing online we've been able to really live out what we set out to do so yeah if, if you really get your business going online then you can you know have time and space to do the things that you want to do we like to do a lot of traveling um you know take photos you know hang out at our our, our uh lakefront home you know that sort of thing and actually one of the biggest things that we've done since is we actually homeschool our son so really we have this flexibility of really being able to live the kind of life that we want on our own terms as we want to and so we really want to be able to show you how we did it and so that you can do that for yourselves and be able to achieve whatever it is that you want and what your why is yeah and guys if you follow this plan that we're talking about here you are going to be able to achieve the same kind of thing because it's exactly what you need to do. It's exactly what we did. Okay, so l let's just jump right into it. You know, first of all, if you're sitting here, you're wanting to get this training. And what I say to people is really identify the problem. So what is your biggest problem right now? You know, I think a lot of issues for people is that there is a very high barrier to entry now with internet marketing you know and the problem is many fold right i mean there's too much information for way example. too much information um too much information things are way more complicated yeah and basically i mean you know here, here's a problem with information the problem with information is you know there's lots of information out there but it's it's the quality it's the caliber of the information and if you don't get the right kind of information that's applicable to you and you're not able to apply it then it's really no good um things are getting way more you know complex obviously as there's more people that that you know start marketing online um you know there's there's kind of a, a little bit of a congestion in the marketplace and because of that you need to you know understand all these all these technical things and a lot of you know uh business really is is about integrating these different things um and you know having like a, a capture page integrate to an autoresponder and all that kind of stuff right and just if i can go back just quickly just about too much information the other part is that everybody is getting little pieces of the puzzle right mm -hmm. so they're not understanding what their entire business needs to look like in order to succeed and so by the end of this webinar you're going to see how all of the pieces fit together 
Um, now to continue on this, so identifying the problem, everyone has less time. You know, I know for myself and for Andrew, I mean, we have things that we want to do in life. We've got Jack, we've got our son, we've got all these different things. So, and for you, it's the same. You probably, you know, you have work, you have your family, you have social obligations, you have all of these different obligations. And so to really sit down and focus, everyone has less time to do that. And so what you got to do is you got to have, you have you have to set up your business so that it can create more income in less time, right? And if you if you don't have the goal of how to do that from the beginning, then you're going to spend a whole lot of time and, and not make very much money. Right. And like Andrew said, too, about, um, you know, there's more competition. There's a lot of congestion in the industry. And so... We'll teach you how to get around that. Right. So for all of those things together, I mean, it creates a problem for people coming in. So why do people come to internet marketing? So whether or not you're in a brick or mortar business or you're strictly in an online business, people come here because they want an online presence. You want to reach more prospects. You want to have more leverage and scale. And obviously you want to make more money. Yeah. And reach people, not just in a small local, you know, geographic area, but across your whole city, across your whole country, across the whole world, you know, make it a global business because you can basically deliver a presentation, deliver your sales message to, you know, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people at once. Exactly. And I mean, for us, we have always built global businesses. We've had team members everywhere, you know, not just in local pocket, local mm -hmm. pockets. And I think that is a huge difference. It's a strength. It's a huge strength in how we build business and how it's different from you know, what used to occur and what people still teach now. So we're going to get into that. Now, what stops them? So meaning what stops you? What is stopping you right now for, for, to build this type of a business? You know, and I think it really comes down to a clear understanding of how everything works. So how everything works together. And like I said earlier, the problem with too much information is that it is so micro that they, you know, you'll get a little piece of this and a little piece of that. But for you to understand how all of that fits together and all that integration, that's what's missing. And that's how people, um, I think, are not having the success that they really deserve to have. Yeah, like I'll give you a good example. You know, let's say you go to a restaurant, you know, it's a nice restaurant. Let's say maybe it's, uh, what kind of restaurant? Italian. Sure. Right. An so Italian restaurant. We're so, in an Italian restaurant. So, now. so, so it's an Italian restaurant, and of course you got to order, you know, the the carbonara because uh, it's just so tasty. But anyhow, so, but I mean, looking at the menu, right? There's all these different things in the menu, all these little, you know, sections. But the key thing to understand is that you may think, okay, I understand, you know, this is Italian. I'm eating Italian restaurant, so you know, I, I understand, I understand that. But these gaps in information are like trying to understand how to run a restaurant from looking at the menu. You know, you can tell some things, you know, because of how they, you know, describe uh, uh, certain ingredients, um, you know, and, and that sort of thing. But you have no idea how to run a restaurant unless you have all these pieces and, and, and they all fit together, right? So you can't just, we're not ordering takeout here. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. So we're going to get into into what that is. You know, a real twenty thousand foot view of uh, of your business, and this is the foundation. It's you know it hasn't changed since we started online. It's still the same today. Okay, and this is really really important for you to get. All right. Okay, so the 20,000 foot view of your business. I think this is really important. Um, when Andrew and I started, actually we did, we were already doing business for a couple of years already. We did a lot of training with Rich Sheffrin. He was one of our personal mentors. And he actually told us in order to understand what your business looks like and in order for it to succeed, you have to have the whole plan. So from, you have to know what the end looks like or what the whole thing looks like. So we want to draw you basically the very foundation of what your business ought to look like. And yet for how simple it is, people miss it all mm -hmm. the time. They miss the mark all the time. So, right. so let's, let's start, start off here with, with um, okay, traffic. And there's a whole bunch of different ways 
for you to get traffic. But this is the real key, okay? What you have to do is take someone here who's, you know, prospect on some kind of website, you know, clicking a link for whatever reason, and, you know, there, there's, there's all sorts of ways that, that we can get traffic. Um, and we'll talk about those, but what you need to do is you need to squeeze out their name and their email, okay? So name plus email, okay? What happens at that point, okay, is that they're redirected, okay, to, let's say, you know, a thank you page or, you know, an offer, something like that. And at the same time, these people start getting your autoresponder messages. So we get AR1, and then they're going to get AR2, and then AR3, and so you know, forth. and so on and so forth. Okay. And this is really key because you need to understand that if you don't have this, if you don't have a compelling way to get traffic to be like, oh, okay, this sounds good. I'm going to give my name and email. Okay. And this is your lead magnet. Okay. So that's something that people want. It's something that they feel that they need, that they, you know, almost feel like, like they're going to, they're going to be missing out if they, if they don't get it. Okay. But they're still skeptical at that point. Okay, they're still not necessarily ready to buy because people need multiple exposures and, and, and all that good stuff. And so that's why this part is so key. And there's a particular way that we, you know, set up these, um, these autoresponder messages um, sequentially because we're doing something on purpose. You know, we're not doing this by, by accident. And then basically what, what happens is either, you know, um, they'll, you know, maybe, maybe if you're in a network marketing company, they'll watch your webinar and, and, uh, and join your, your, uh, your company here, okay, on, on that page. Or they'll start reading these messages. And some of them shouldn't have any links at all to, you know, your company or your webinar or, 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 or anything like that. And there's a strategic reason for that as well. But basically, this is the path for prospects that turn into great distributors and great people in your business. Right. So if you look at this, and we're going to go through each and every single step, um, as soon as I just, I want you, we want you to really see this. Okay. So Andrew drew traffic. So wherever these people come from, like, and like he said, we'll talk about it. You have to be able to weed out this traffic in a very systematic way through your lead magnet and then pull them through the autoresponder or your follow-up through your back-end sales and everything else in order to have your business work in a very systematic fashion. The problem is a lot of people have one but not the other. So, mm -hmm. or they have different pieces, but it's not, you know, they might have autoresponder messages, but they have one or two. Well, that's not long enough, you know, so we're going to go through all of this. Um, and so just take a moment to look at this and understand that you drive traffic through your lead magnet and then you now with their name and email, because without their name and email, you don't have a business. You are going to filter all of these people through to get to your best prospect. That's right. So one of the things that I just wanted to add here was, you know, if you don't have traffic, for example, if you struggle with traffic, you're not going to make money. You're not going to have success. If you if you can get traffic, but you don't know how to how to get them on a list, maybe you're sending them right to like a replicated web page or right to you know your company webinar. You're not going to make money. You know, um, if you don't know how to write autoresponder messages and you know throw out the ones that were given to you by you know whatever whatever company um, you know that, that that you're with or whatever system. If you don't understand how to do these the right way, you're not going to make money. Right. And in these right. autoresponder messages, the key is obviously you're going to build relationships. So what you have or what you're given, it's it's not going to benefit you. But let's look at this and then let's go through it because I really want you to understand how critical all of these pieces are to the puzzle. Okay, so lead capture pages, like Andrew said, I mean, we'll go to the, we're going to talk about the traffic last. So you need to have a lead capture page. So a compelling message, like Andrew said, you have to move these people, move these prospects, move this traffic so that they want to have or want to have what you're offering them. So you have to have a compelling message. 
Okay, and this is your opportunity to capture your prospects information. I'm still really amazed at how many people don't understand that without capturing people's information, you are not building a business. You have to build your own list. You have to build your own customer database. It is super, extremely important. Yeah, well, the number one thing, I mean, people, you know, when, when we're at events and people come up to us and we start talking about them, I mean, that's the one thing that they regret more than anything else is that they, they didn't start, you know, capturing leads and, 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 and generating leads uh, early enough in their career. And they wasted a whole bunch of time and that costs money. Right. When we started building online, we actually had a mentor who at the time, years and years and years ago, had a list of 2,000 people. I remember, and every time he would send out a message, he'd make a couple hundred dollars, maybe he'd make a thousand dollars. And Andrew and I were so incredibly impressed by this because we couldn't figure out, um, or actually not couldn't figure out, but we were just so impressed that if he sent out a message, he would make money. Yeah. And that really made an impression on us that what we needed to do was create, you know, create our own customer database. And so if you're not doing that, it's incredibly important to do it. And the only way you're going to do that is with your own lead magnet. Now, like we said, so once you've got your lead magnet, they've filled in the form. You can't just expect people to, to buy, buy from you. It'd you be can't. nice. It would be really nice, <laughs> but on, you can't just expect, because honestly, at this point, they probably don't know you from a hole in the wall. They just mm -hmm. saw that you, they saw that you had a compelling message. Maybe you offered them some information that they really wanted to know more about. And so they put in their name and email. And so in your autoresponder, your follow-up sequence, this is your opportunity to build relationships. You have to remember that in your autoresponder, you want to build relationships with these people. You want to start connecting with them. You want them to know that you are approachable. You want them to know that you're a real person. Um, and it's very true. Prospects need to see your message multiple times. You know, they talk about this seven to 12 times that they need to see your message. But if you think about it, the more you see something, whether it's in a commercial or whatever it is, the more you see it, the more familiar you become with it. And the more familiar you are with it, the more likely you are to buy. So you have to understand that having this autoresponder piece in place that does, you know, your automatic follow up so that they see it multiple times that it, you know, your messages have this way of connecting with you, you know, you give them good content, you do videos, they see you, they learn more about you and your family, just more about your life and you infuse your personality into all of your emails, the more likely they are to buy from you, right? And that, that's, that's the key, you know, that's, that's the key. And that's what all of these, you know, if you're using autoresponder messages from your company, if you're in a company right now and you're using those and you're using the replicated messages, that's what's missing because people will always buy you first. Before they ever buy a company, they'll buy you first. And if they're interested in the company, they're going to look for somebody that they buy into or that they like or that they feel, um, you know, similarity with. And this is your opportunity to do that. And when we're, work when we're working with um, our clients, I mean, you know, we'll be able to, um, you know, I know some people have a lot of trouble, on, like, uh, kind of grasping for the first time how to really put that personality into your emails, how to just break through that barrier so emails become easy easy to write. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with our clients, I mean, you know, we can we can uh, create personality for you, you know, or, or kind of bring that out and, and bring it all, all around a, a certain brand and a, and a message that's that's really about you and, you know, makes makes you just really compelling, you know, so other people want to work with you. They want to be a part of your team, you know, and that's how you build those big businesses. All right. So what do you put in your auto autoresponder messages? Um, you, know, you definitely want to have relationship building messages. So just messages, um, you know, where you're building the relationship with them, you know, maybe you're, you're sharing some information, um, you know, and, and connecting with them so they don't always open the email and be and and it's like some hypey email you know with a with a link to buy something right i was going to say one of our most powerful messages um and has been the one where i talk about our trip to paris france mm -hmm. right and that 
And what I wanted to do in that message was I really wanted to share our trip. You know, like it was the first time that Andrew and I had um, gone to France and it was such an exciting time for us. And I just really wanted to share that with people. And it's funny how I get so many messages about that because from that one message, people really got a sense for who we are, what we liked, what we like to do. And that's the kind of thing that you want to build. The other thing is direct them to your blog. You know, um, your blog is, we'll talk about it afterwards, but your blog is really a central place for them to really connect with you without the pressure. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So direct them to your blog, videos that you've done. Videos are great because they get a real sense of who you are in real time. You know, engage in storytelling. Storytelling is great. People love stories. So tell a story, you know, um, in your message. Message it, you know, put it around a story. Um, yeah, storytelling is one of those primal those primal things that, that, that people can really relate to. And if you look at, you know, some of the best emails that you've that you've read, you know, in the last, you know, six months, you'll probably remember, yeah, I mean, you know, some of them are, are, are were really good good stories. And, you know, it, it oftentimes you just need a jumping off point. You know, um, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll look at what I did that day and I'll, I'll just think until I until I find a link to uh, to something. And actually, I did that in, in, in an email that I that I sent out uh, today. Um, I was like, yeah, OK, this is a, this is a good a good idea. Um, how do I, you know, link this into something? And, you know, obviously you'll, you'll get better when you do that. But when you tell stories you create interest and you, and you create, um, you create uh, engagement, you create uh, kind of like a, a vacuum effect where people want to want to hear the ending, you know? Right. They want to hear the ending. And then the other thing that is really important about storytelling is usually if people read your emails and they're so used to really hypey emails, emails that sell, storytelling allows your prospect to let their guard down. Mm -hmm. And that I think is really key. Or like, you know, doing that and then, hey, connect with me on Facebook and, and putting a link to your to your Facebook. And the people that are were really, you know, uh, drawn in by your story, you know, some of them are going to actually connect with you on, on Facebook. And that's an, another way to kind of build that build that relationship. Um, it's good to alternate between content and selling. Um, so what you want to do is throw out some content and, and selling and kind of switch back and forth. I found that that's probably the most powerful thing that you can do with, with autoresponder messages because people just, you know, naturally will just be, okay, I'm just going to promote my company. And, you know, they write all about the company, you know, and, and, and really, you know, as you're getting here, it's not about that. And then also, you know, link to some of your backend sales. I mean, it's good if you have, you know, some of your own products or, or you know, something, something else, you know, because one of the things with autoresponder messages is once someone's on the list, you can, you know, if, if you're doing, let's say, paid marketing, you paid a certain amount for for the those bunch of subscribers, and they might not be in your, they might might not be interested in your primary business. Maybe they're already in that company, and that's why, or maybe they're just not interested, you know. But they could be interested in something else. So you pay for those leads once, but you get to monetize them on on different things. You can mail them out different different offers, and and, and maybe something will be more along to their uh, to their liking. Right, exactly. I think you need to know that not everybody that you show your business to will be interested in it, and that's just the way it is. But like Andrew said, they may be interested. It'd be in nice something. if they were. It would be really nice if they were. But the truth of the matter is, is not everybody will be. But, you know, they may not be interested in your business, but they might be interested in something else. And so, you, again, once you have this customer database, this is your opportunity to be able to bring those offers to them. Okay, so quick word on blogs. So we talked about blogs being really important. I said that we were going to go back to them. Um, blogs, if you don't have a blog, you really need one. You know, it's one of those... Um, it, it's one of the most fundamental things that you need to have in your business. I don't think anyone can build a, a, a real business without, without having a blog. I think it's that important, that pivotal to, um, to, to really your business. Right. Because like I said, this is the way that prospects will connect with you without the pressure. I always talk about, because you can imagine if you have a prospect Yes, they may know that you want to sell them. They know that you want to sell them something. But the thing is, when they go to your blog, you have this opportunity to sell them on you and what you do 
in their own time. So like they can go there, they can look at your blog without any pressure. And yet as they go through your blog, they see what you want them to see, but it also creates this relationship building. I don't know how many times Andrew and I have been to events where people come up to us and say, I, you know, I go to your blog, I watch your videos, I really feel like I know you. And, and that's the first time that we met them. Yeah, and it's the first time that we've ever met them. But they never really talked to them on the phone. feel, yeah, we've never even talked to them on the phone. But we, they really feel like they know us. You know, I just got an email the other day from a from a lady who said that she has been on our blog or sorry, our um, our email list for years and years and years and years. She said she remembered when we first started and she had named a whole bunch of things that we had done in the past in terms of, you know, mindset and helping us get prepared and things that we talked about. But she really feels like she knows us. And that is simply because of the follow-up and the blogs and the website. So it's very important. Now, can I ask you a question? Me. No, not you, Marie. I'm talking to oh, yes. our, 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 you know, the person Sorry. doing here. I missed So, that. no, no, I, I was, yeah. All right, so so here's a question. You know, have you ever, you know, maybe, um, you know, been thinking about a, a, a big purchase and you go out and research it online? You know, maybe it's, a, or maybe it's a small purchase. Maybe it's a book, you know, and you want to you read a, a review about it first. Or it's like a, an album, right? That's what having a blog is about, okay? It's, it's, you know, you might not make that purchase if you couldn't go online and just, you know, research it a little bit. And that's what having a blog is. So someone can go and, you know, they're maybe very, very close to joining you, but they just want to go and click around and, you know, look at, at what you have on your about page on your blog and, you know, see what, what you've written about, you know, maybe look at a couple of pictures, um, and that's kind of like a, a review. And I, and I think that, you know, a lot of people don't understand just how powerful that is because that, you know, if that little last part didn't happen, even if you were leaning 90% towards a sale, it wouldn't happen if you didn't have that last 10%. Right. And I, and like it's like I was going to um, say here, you know, it's about comfortable. You know, this is the avenue, this is the avenue with which people get to know you and become comfortable. It really is about being comfortable to buy, being comfortable to purchase, being comfortable to buy into you. And again, people buy from those they know, like, and trust. You hear it over and over and over again. And the blog is the central place for them to be able to do that. To build that know, like, and trust quicker. So here is just an image of our own personal blogs. You know, we have our store, we have videos, we have things that we talk about, we have giveaways. And so again, this is just an example of what we have and what we um, are encouraging everybody to go out and do. It's one of the fundamental pieces of this foundation that has not changed in years and years and years and years. And like I said though, people are missing they're missing the pieces here and it's not coming together yeah so for example like on on my blog i have a few things that are that are going on i'm not going to go into into all of them right now but right at the top there's you know the the opt-in um you know there's like a call to action right after the the blog title and you know um just a little simple animoto video with uh with some pictures and and uh, um you know, some text that, that we did, um, that's been a great branding tool for us over the years, just, you know, some pictures and, and text. Um, and I know we've, you know, Marie's, Marie's got some great stuff going on, on on her blog as well. It's like a nice call to action at the at the top. Um, th that's actually a, a movie, the uh, picture of, of, uh, of the, the two of them on the right-hand side. That's actually a movie that, that I created um, and surprised them with, and they were really happy. Actually, Jack just started watching it again, the... Uh, the other day over and over over and over <laughs> yeah and yeah there's some great stuff here and we know really how to build a blog the right way because the other thing that we've seen is so many people you know we've seen other people create a blog and and they don't know what they're doing um, there's companies out there that you know create blogs that are like kind of all all on on their own all on that company's domain and you know that's not the right way to to do it at all you know exactly. that's that's not what we're talking about there's 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 some, some things we're going to get into about yeah that. and there are we're going to get into more training on blogs later on but yes i mean 
just knowing that if this is not part of your business right now, it needs to be. Okay, so advertising, and I think um, advertising is this big thing for people, you know, like they, they always wanna know, where do I market? You know, how much should I spend? Where do I put the money? Is this good traffic, reliable traffic? Mm -hmm. So we'll talk a little bit about yeah, this. Yeah, and before you even get there, you know, I mean, it's people. some people tend to be like hyper-focused on, on traffic and they don't have the blog and they don't have, you know, a good opt-in page. They're just sending it right to like a replicated, you know, capture page. And again, you know what I mean? Like I was drawing on the screen before, like if you don't have all those things in place, you're not going to be successful. If you're missing any one of them, and I actually should have drawn the, the blog as well because that kind yeah, of ties everything great. together because um, that's like your, your the central hub of your business. Um, if you don't have any one of those, you know, it's it's incredibly difficult to uh, to be successful. You can make some money, but are you going to make a lot of money? No, you're not going to be making a full-time income if you don't have all of those. So with advertising, you know, the whole goal is to drive traffic to your lead capture pages. And I'm a big fan. We've always been a big fan of, um, you know, uh, uh, paid traffic because it's scalable, it's repeatable, you can target it the right way, um, and it's consistent. You know, I mean, it's great if you can do, let's say, you know, a Facebook post and you get you know, a bunch of likes and, and maybe some clicks to your website and, and stuff like that, or you're, you're uh, you know, chatting with people on Facebook or, you, you know, you found some social media site where, you know, you can kind of engage with people and, and slowly get people off to your sites. But you want to have paid traffic and there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of, of Google AdWords. I'm a big fan of, of Facebook, uh, pay-per-click, um, that's what I was talking about on at uh, at the No Excuses event, uh, solo ads. There's a whole host of things. The key to understand about advertising is you want to have it as targeted as possible. And we have done probably every single advertising um, you source, know, avenue, source yeah. that that you're out there, right? So this is this is one of our strengths is that you know we haven't just done one source of 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 traffic. Um, over the years, we have done everything and i think that's you know everything. a little bit uh, yeah. like a little bit of 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 our personality too you know what i mean we want to you know try try things out and you know see if it works because we're always looking like okay what's gonna you know what traffic source is gonna work best for our team you know what's let me test this out with my marketing dollars and then if it works good you know i'm gonna i'm gonna pass it on to my team or i'm gonna i'm gonna train people on our, on our list about it um but targeting is really really the key and that's what people don't understand um, a visitor is not a visitor like you know it depends where they came from um you know so you know you always want to favor quality over quantity okay that's that's probably the number one thing and the easiest way to get started with marketing is you know doing some retargeting and if you have a blog it's really easy to to uh to, to get some retargeting done um, you know, even if you don't, there's some easy ways to, to, to kind of do retargeting. Let me explain what retargeting is just really quickly. It's what, what happens with someone, let's say when someone goes to my blog, okay, there's a little piece of code on my blog that tracks their cookie. Okay. And so it knows that that person has, um, you know, visited, uh, visited my mm -hmm. site. Right. So. Let's say and that's someone, key, right? yeah. Yes. So, and again, you know, here's the thing with retargeting. This is why I love it so much, and it's really easy, guys. I mean, you know, it's it's you know, we we have a video that that that, that shows you how to do it. But with retargeting, it's so key because you have people that are visiting your site, so they're they're the most likely to buy because they're already clicking, they're already showing interest, they're already showing engagement, and then you can just run ads to only those people. Right, so if someone visits my blog, drops a cookie, okay, and then whenever they go back, let's say they go back to Facebook, okay, um, what happens is they're gonna start seeing my ads. And Facebook loves retargeting because they also know that the conversions are so high because it's just, I mean, if someone's visited your site, it's like, it's like way better than than you know an interest or a like, you know, in terms of targeting. So it's better for the user experience. So they tend to give retargeting, um, you know, clicks at significant discount in terms of cost. 
And you know, I really want you guys to be you know looking at, at adding retargeting because it's it's so important in, in 2015. You cannot afford not to not to be doing it. Okay, so in you know, I guess coming um, around coming, coming around event. Yes, I was gonna say I couldn't. She's be she'll yeah, be coming no, I, around the mountain. <laughs> I, couldn't she comes. I couldn't remember what I was I was gonna say. I couldn't remember the expression anyway. So I was okay. Let's start again. <laughs> so this <laughs> the checklist. So we've talked about the different parts of what we want you to understand is the foundation of your business. So I want you, after you've watched this, or even now, just as you're sitting here listening to us, to start to systematically check these off. So do you have, you know, do you feel like you have a reliable source of traffic, a good source? Like Andrew said, favor, you know, quantity or quality over quantity. Do you have a lead magnet, you know, your own lead magnet, not a replicated site, but a lead magnet all your own. That works. That works. That's, that's yes. you know, engaging that kind of people are like, oh, I got to. I got to have that. Whatever gotta it is. Got to put on my name yeah. and email there. Um, they basically have no choice, right? It's just so compelling. Do you have a blog? So we talked, you obviously know how important we think the blog is. So do you have a blog? Do you have the appropriate follow up? Do you have all of those pieces in place? Do you have a back end? Do you have a place for other people to buy from you if they don't want your main opportunity? All of these things have to be in place in order for you to really understand what a successful business looks like and works like. And again, remember the lead capture pages and blogs that you send your prospects to really have to be your own because in your marketing and in everything that you do, you really want people to buy into you. If people are buying into you, they will buy into what you have to offer. So that I think is a really huge take home message that you have to understand as we're going through this. Now, just quickly, our story, I wanted to say, you know, our biggest mistake was that we, I was going to let, let me go back. I was going to say that we love to learn, you know, really our business could have been bigger that much faster, but because Andrew and I, and I think that this is a good thing. We really wanted to know about all of these different things too, like how all of these different things worked. And actually, I think that's probably why we have a really good, actually, I would say a great handle on so many different things. Mm -hmm. Um, but we had a mentor when we first started who actually told us to get an assistant. And the reason we didn't do it was because we really felt like we had to get our hands into everything. We had to understand everything. We felt like having an assistant, for example, would just give the power away or the control away. We wouldn't have as much control over our business. But in saying that, he really wanted to un us to understand the power of leverage and outsourcing certain tasks that didn't make sense for us to do right? And as we've grown our business and now as we've outsourced and we have staff, you know, that has become a huge way that we've learned to scale. So, you know, outsourcing, you know, we wanted to talk about outsourcing a little bit before, you know, we ended this webinar because not for a lot us, of people do. No, not a lot of people do, but outsourcing is key. I want you to understand that it's good to know about different parts of your business. Like I said, it's good to know about the blog. It's good to know how to write, you know, good autoresponder messages and all of that stuff. But you don't have to do it all yourself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because Andrew and I, when we talk about our advanced training and all of these things, we're always talking about leverage and scale. So where can you get leverage? Where can you get scale? Yeah. And I mean, I wanted to say, I mean, all those different parts were where we X'd out, you know, if you don't have traffic or you don't have autoresponder messages, you don't have, you know, um, you know, a back end or you don't have any of those things, all those things can be, uh, you know, can be fixed. And, you know, we've, we've done all of those very successfully, you know, in, in different uh, facets for, for our clients, um, and, and our customers. So, if you just can't figure out the traffic and that's, you know, your stumbling block, well, you know, maybe it's time that you look at, at outsourcing that and, you know, finding someone who can, you know, help you get that traffic. You know, we still have mentors. We still pay for, for coaches, you know, um, that's, you know, one of the, one of the keys to being successful 
is to, you know, always, always be willing to, you know, shore up your weaknesses, you know, and, you know, if, if you have a weakness and you can't, well, I mean, if you can't figure out how to do autoresponder messages, you just can't write them and they just all suck, then, you know, find someone that can, that can do that for you and, and do it well. Yeah, because I was going to say everybody has strengths and that's really, that's great. You know, you know your strength if you're great. You know, Andrew was saying if you suck at writing autoresponder messages, but you're great at video, then do video, you know, but you really want to figure out where is your time best spent to move your business forward. And that's what I want you to understand. You know, Andrew and I spent a lot of time learning different things, and I think that's great. But now that our business has gotten so much bigger, we really do spend the time where it needs to be spent, where our strengths are, and then we outsource what I would call, you know, not our weaknesses, but where we feel um, that we can do that. And I think that that's really, really important. And that's an advanced strategy, but that is also key to scaling up your business. So, okay, identify where you are right now. So after going through all of this and us talking about what a successful business looks like, I want you to understand what parts of your business plan do you have now? Like what parts are actually there? What parts work? What parts um, don't work? And what parts don't you have? What's missing from your business? And actually write it down, you know, um, don't just... Don't just, you know, do the, the calculations in my head. Oh, yeah, I think maybe I need a, a blog or something. You know, actually write it down because when you actually write it down, what that does is, you know, you can just use this to transform your business in 2015. You know, if, if that's all you do, you just kind of get all these pieces of, of, of the puzzle in place, you can make a full-time income in 2015 just by doing this. So write down all your strengths, all your weaknesses, and identify that. Do that immediately after, um, you know, after watching this webinar. Okay, so webinar special. Um, now that we've gone through all of this, you know, for people who are on this webinar, first of all, I really want to be able to congratulate you. I think we ran through a lot of different information, and it's you know sometimes it's just there's a lot to take in. But I really do believe that what we've talked about here today will be key for you. Like Andrew said, moving forward in 2015, you need to have all of these pieces in place. And I promise you that it's shoring up all of these different pieces together and really looking at them and doing that hard identification and saying, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not doing so good in this part and maybe I'm doing well here, but I could improve in this other part that will really help you. And so today, Andrew and I really wanted, it's a special gift for you. We really wanted to give it to you. And I think that it is really going to be key in helping you understand different parts of what we've talked about here today. You all want a gift, right? I would think so, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so so here, here's what we have. Three critical trainings that are absolutely essential to your business. And, you know, I, I think if someone just, you know, went through these three trainings, because obviously, I mean, we can't show you how to, you know, set up a blog on, on this webinar and get traffic and, and, and all this stuff all together. So what we've done is, is really, you know, we talked about three Very, uh, core trainings. Right. And we're going to go that, through them in that detail done, here. That we want that we want you to have and be able to implement. So the first one is creating a lead magnet. So in this, you know, we actually show you how to create a, a good lead magnet, how to make one that's that's super compelling. And I'll give you just a small snippet of, of an example. See, most people, you know, the rule of thumb, and this is actually a, a statistically uh, relevant in, I think, practically all cases. The more information you ask for on a form, the less respondents you're going to get, right? So most people, you know, when they when they create a lead magnet, they just want to get out there. Just there's hope that anyone does it. So you know, you'll see on on solo ads and stuff. A lot of people don't even ask for name the name field. They just ask for the email field. Well, our lead magnets are are, are so compelling and so effective that you know, I actually um, on on one of my favorites, I ask for uh, first name, last name, email, phone number, and what their primary um, you know, primary company is. So 
in order to do that, you know, you got to have something that's really compelling because most people, you know, particularly they, they don't want to give their phone number, you know, let's say. Um, so to make a, a lead magnet so compelling, we're going to teach you how to do that, you know, how to design a lead magnet, what kind of lead man, magnets work, work best, all that sort of thing. Cool, eh? Very. All right. Number and, two. Yeah. So the second one is how to retarget your prospects on Facebook. Okay. So Andrew actually spoke on this at the No Excuses event. It's such a huge thing now. And like he said um, earlier, retargeting, if you're not doing it, you want to be doing it. If you don't understand what it is, after going through this training, you'll be able to do it. So retargeting your prospects on Facebook, very, very, very key. And I think a huge part, if you're struggling with traffic and you can't figure that all out, start here, do this, figure this out. Yeah, this is so so powerful, and I'll tell I'll tell you this, but you know one of the one of the people that 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 runs one of the most successful um, you know companies in our industry was studying this this whole thing. I actually saw him watching watching my presentation, you know, behind the the the, the, the uh, I was sitting I was sitting behind him in, in the back. Um, I was studying this this whole recording at this at this event. And the whole thing about, you know, once you get retargeting, this is the best, you know, least expensive, most targeted, highest converting, you know, uh, source of traffic. So if you have a limited advertising budget, okay, this is going to give you the most bang for your buck. And everyone should be doing this. Everyone, 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 because it's so easy. And, you know, we show you how to do it in that, in that training. And then number three, your blog, the central hub. We're going to show you how to set up a blog the right way because there's a lot of people that do it wrong and and I've seen a lot of people follow other people that are doing it wrong and you know we're going to go through step by step all the different things that you need to do to set up a blog that generates leads that brands you that you know um, uh, gets your get your retargeting code in there uh, tracking uh, pop-ups all these kind of things that that brand you and just make it's so irresistible that people want to join you. Not only that, but we've actually, you know, used a blog as an active marketing presence. This is probably my number one free uh, marketing source for traffic because we have a system where we've actually, and we've done this, you know, time and time again, where we have done a blog post in a strategic way and, and then done some optimization for it. And, and we'll show you exactly what we, what we did. And that has actually been a huge income stream and yes, generated tons of in income and, and, and tons of leaders in, in every company that, that we've that been we've a part of. Been okay. So you don't want to miss that training because it's really so powerful. So good. <laughs> All right. So guys, you know, no hard sell or anything like this. $7, um, you know, you'll get those, those three full length trainings that you know are very detailed and 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 step by step in a way that we can't actually do in in, in this uh, in this webinar here, but it's only seven dollars. Right, and I mean this could have obviously gone for way more. People spent thousands of dollars to go hear Andrew speak at this event, particularly on you know the second module, the retargeting. And really, all we want to do here is we wanted to be able to give our list something and to be able to give it to you so that it was affordable and that you would get just very good quality information that, like we said, is absolutely critical to, to build a successful business. So everything that you learn today, so every single part that you need plus these trainings will absolutely open your eyes to a completely different way of building your business if you've been doing things differently um, you know and you just don't understand why you're struggling definitely check these trainings out like Andrew said only seven dollars we want to be able to give that to you and um, I mean the value is incredible I mean I think you know if, if, if someone were to go through any one of those individual trainings like and and they spend a thousand dollars on it you know it would be worth it to them each of those so that's you know three thousand dollars you know right there but you know, this is, this is, you know, where it comes right down to, this you know, taking easy. action, you know, um, taking action and really understanding, you know, the most important things and getting access to the right information, um, you know, that's, that's going to be able to, you know, pivot and move your business forward 
in 2015 because you know if you if you don't have these pieces, guys, you you're not going to be making that that kind of income that you want. Exactly. So this is for you guys. Go ahead, go get it. Only seven dollars. So go ahead, go do that. Go through those trainings, and we want to hear from you. We want to know what you think about these trainings. We want to hear with you. We want to engage with you. And so go ahead, do that now. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Bye.